Hell coming soon to a reality near you. Remember? You ever see the Flintstones? Sure. You think Wilma's sexy? <laughs> Wilma Flintstone? Well, maybe I've been in deep space too long, but... Every time I see her, she drives me crazy. How do you feel about Betty Rubble? Betty? Oh, uh, I tell you, I'd go with Betty. But I'd be thinking of Wilma. Do you have any conception of how crazy you sound? You're talking about going to bed with Wilma Flintstone. Yeah, you're right. It's nuts. She'll never leave Fred. I know it. Box update. Well, for reasons that are too stupid to go into, most of the crew was wiped out, and we wound up adrift three million years in deep space, which is real nice. My name is Dave Lister. I used to uh, be a chicken soup machine repair man. Now I'm acting captain. Uh, I know I, I don't look much like a captain, but when I tried on the form-hugging red lycra body suit, I looked like a giant half-squeezed tube of tomato paste. I was barfed. Hang on. Hello. Uh, let's see. Our crew number's five. Besides me, there's, oh, Arnold Rimmer. He's dead. And, uh, we had to bring him back as a hologram. Actually, he's the same sad, weaselly maggot he always was, only now he's just a projection, which means that he can't touch anything except himself. So, basically, his sex life is unchanged. I can't believe it. I'm... I'm dead. What's it feel like? Death? It's like... being at an Amish bachelor party. And there's Holly, our super-intelligent onboard computer. How could this happen, Holly? One of the drive plates in the engine room was defective. It broke apart and killed everyone. <laughs> How long have I been in stasis, Holly? Well, I couldn't let you out until the radiation died down to a safe level. Really? You're gonna laugh. How long? Just under three million years. <laughs> My baseball cards must be worth a fortune. <laughs> you okay? Of course I'm not okay. I'm now 2.9 million years over my rated lifespan. My memory is shot, all my circuits are breaking down. Actually, that one felt kind of good. <laughs> and then there's Crichton, a 4,000 series service mechanoid programmed to obey any order, no matter how stupid. And then there's the cat. You know the way human beings evolve from apes? Well, she evolved from the common alley cat. She's got nine lives, so she's not scared of anything, and uh, she's got some pretty weird ideas about relationships. Hey, will you slow down? It's okay for you, you have night vision. Are you scared, Yumi? Scared? Roaming around this ship somewhere, there is an armor-plated genetic mutant who wants to impregnate all of us with his demon seed. Yeah, I got butterflies. What is the worst that could happen? He'll only kill you. So what? You die, you feel a little embarrassed, you get up, you start again. You gotta understand something. I'm not like you. I don't have nine lives. Okay. You stay here and suck your thumb, and I'll go and rip off its head, spit down its throat, and turn its lower intestines into balloon animals. <laughs> You're not going out there alone, okay? Listen, Humi, I do not need survival tips from a man with less backbone than a vegetable burrito. I've taken care of myself since I was four. I've scavenged for food. I've lived off my wits. I survived. I mean, you've lived alone since you were four? Don't you ever get lonely? I'm a cat. I don't need anyone. You're humans. You're so fixated on relationships. You have sex a couple times with the same person, and you feel like you've got to stay with them until their teeth drop out. So you're just, you're never gonna get involved with anybody, is that it? 
Well, who knows? Maybe someday I'll find the eight or nine guys who are right for me, and then my rambling days will be over. Eight or nine? That is something else I will never understand. How does a human woman get by with just one man a night? One man! I mean, that's not even enough to get your sweat pores open. <laughs> We may not be the most efficient crew the Space Corps has ever seen. But let me tell you something. We are going to get this rust bucket back to Earth, and when we do... What are you doing? I'm recording a distress call to send off into space. Well, I don't think you're recording. Look, the red light's on. No, no, no. Red means record. Nuh-uh. Green means record. Are you sure? Because I don't want to... I don't want to... I don't want to mess this up. It's Would the last message capsule we have. Trust me and press the green button and say your message over again. All right. Yeah, that was really great. Now they'll know exactly where to find us. Yep. Now they have all the information they need. Launch that distress call. You really know what you're doing, don't you? I used to think you were a really big jerk, too. How much food we got left? Half a bag of soggy potato chips, a oh. can of freeze-dried chilies, oh. some slimy lettuce, and a tube of cold sore ointment. Cold sore ointment? Mm -hmm. Isn't there anything else? Just cup of noodle. Oh, and the can of dog food you found in the toolbox. Well, I guess we know it's going to get eaten last. I can't stand cup of noodle. <laughs> I gotta have those potato chips. You ate less than 16 hours ago. I had half a raw lemon and a piece of gum I found underneath my shoe. Well, you've got to learn to pace yourself. I can't help it. Everything I look at reminds me of food. Look at these books. Charles Lamb, The Complete Works of Francis Bacon, Herman Walk. Mister, Mister, look, you've got to stop this. You're becoming obsessed. No. Take my mind off it, will you? Talk to me about something. Like what? I don't know. Uh, tell me how you lost your virginity. My what? Come on. How I lost it? Talk to me. Well, not that much to talk about, really. I've... Always been sort of a fish out of water when it comes to women. I'm much more interested in automobiles. But, uh, <laughs> but the, the first time? Yeah. The first time? <laughs> the girl I met in cadet college. We did it in the back of my brother's car. <laughs> what was it like? Sensational. Yeah. <laughs> Bentley convertible. V8 turbo. <laughs> oh, what a machine. <laughs> so, how about you? Michelle Fisher. Ninth hole of Detroit Royal Vista Golf Course, par four, dog leg to the right in the sand trap behind the green. <laughs> golf course? You, you, how old were you? Twelve. Twelve? Twelve years old. W when you lost your virginity, you were twelve? Yeah. Twelve? <laughs> well, you can't have been a full member of the golf club then. No. You did it on a golf course and you weren't even a member? Oh. God. So you didn't pay any green fees or anything? Remember, it was just a place to go. You know, I used to play golf. I hate people who abuse the facilities. Well, I hope you raked the sand back before you left. <laughs> That'd be a hell of a lie to get into, wouldn't it? Competition the next day and your ball lands in Lister's buttock crevice. You need more than a niblick to get that one up. You trying to say I have a big butt? Big? It's like two badly parked Volkswagen Beetles. <laughs> Aliens. Oh, let's hope they're the good kind. The kind with beautiful women with beehive hairdos who say things like, show us more about this Earth thing called kissing. Wait a minute. What if they're the bad kind? You know, the kind that want to enter your bodily orifices and then burst out at inappropriate moments? Then they better watch out, because if they try to start something, I'm going to kick their green acid-filled butts from here to Saturn. You know what? I suggest someone return to Red Dwarf and then supervise this mission from a distance. I volunteer. There's an old cat proverb. It says it's better to live an hour as a tiger than a lifetime as a worm. There's an old human saying, who ever heard of a wormskin rug? Okay, I'll take them on myself. I don't need anyone and I ain't scared of nothing. I spit in the eye of terror and I sit on the face of fear. I've got to admit, she is mellowing. Hey, what's that streaky blue missile thing that's heading towards us? Hang on, I'll just check my data banks. 
Apparently, it's a streaky blue missile thing and it's heading towards us. A wooga! A wooga! Holly, what are you doing? I can't remember where I put the siren. <laughs> Impact in ten seconds and counting. Nine, eight, five, seven, two, zero, three, six, one. Hey, the order's wrong, but they're all there. <laughs> will never be the same.